Good morning dudes and dudettes uh, It's uh, November the 2nd I think Hence the stash uh, And I'm currently on my way to Ånhammar for the third time Or the third log I think it's the fifth journey I'm driving there And uh, it's gonna be a cold day or cold two days depending on if I get done today or not but it's uh, one minus one degrees Celsius and uh, it's raining slate snow so cold weather but we uh, will dig out the the willpower and get this done uh, last episode didn't go that good with filming since the rain came it was so thin it was almost like dust and it got like stuck on the GoPro lens all the time uh, don't have a solution for that today we're just gonna see what we have to do to work it out let's go so we're at the site and you can see on my car what kind of weather it is it's been raining on the road but immediately when you stop it's freezing to ice uh, there's the beast uh, we'll see how she looks it's always that question will it be good enough to mill we're gonna have to debark this one as well might be easier might not be And as you can see here, we have a lot of rocks all over in here. So we're gonna be needing to strip this off. This is basically only gravel. A lot of uh, bugs are gonna get homeless. These gloves were a little bit too tight.
blended. <sighs> I guess that's good news. I was counting on around two hour process on this, like the last log, but this worked just fine. Next step is to brush off all the dirt and see what we have underneath. So the first part is done, I did edge up the side of it a bit since the customer wanted it to be yeah, as square as possible to fit in the storage unit where he had the other two logs but also for being as comfortable as possible for a dining table so I just edged that up so it's a bit straighter. Uh, you can see it now that I cut off a small piece here, the, the, this piece, it was sticking out pretty far. Uh, but now she's way straighter. Uh, next thing is to uh, get the ladder on top and uh, we'll make some sort of a first cut. So it's time to get rid of the bar sag and what I do then is take one of these straps, put it in the middle of the bar on top of the control bar and then I tighten it a bit like that so it gets up quite a lot 
the front nose end of the panther is locked completely. And what we do then is you get over to the nose uh, to the saw end side and pull it a little bit closer. And then and then we lock that as well. And when we then let go of the bar and do our measuring, we are exactly where we want it to be, all over the rig. and a half centimeters in the middle we have 20 and a half centimeters and close to the nose we have 20 and a half This is the, probably the last log I'm gonna mill here and uh, I, they asked me if I wanted to use their uh, uh, Avant, it's a compact loader uh, and uh, yes of course that helps.
and if you hit your wedges in too hard, this is what happens. You get like a small... The wood breaks in the end instead of cutting through. No biggie. It's pretty cool to see a log been laying 10 years with these murky ends. It's only sapwood. Only sapwood. The actual hardwood solid. And this is even the the core slab, the pith pith. The pith slab. So it's crazy how good condition it is. Oak is amazing. So I'm done for today, as you can see I got just a bit over half of the log today, in uh, 8 hours I think, we'll see what the watch is, it's winter time so it starts to get dark early, yeah it's just past 8 hours, uh, it's been a good uh, milling session, haven't uh, ruined anything which means good profit. Uh, if you're interested I could do my economic part with you like what do I earn and what do I uh, yeah get get out of every like milling job like today uh, for an example uh, today I charge 
125 uh, dollars slash euros it's about the same uh, which is uh, it was which is 1250 Swedish crowns an hour and uh, uh, I also charge uh, five dollars or five euros or 50 Swedish crowns uh, for each Swedish mile 10 kilometers uh, I drive uh, and here is uh, oh, just over a two hour drive don't know the kilometers in my head uh, but it's a good job uh, for sure uh, but it's also a complicated job because the logs are so big so dry and you need to have everything dialed in sharp chains uh, and uh, i also guess i've been quite lucky because i haven't struck metal in almost any cuts here uh, last log last time i was here had just a couple in the middle but they were even they were soft so nothing to uh, get all fussed or worked up about uh, so before it get pitch black i'm gonna take my gear put it in the car close that and head home uh, we'll be home just in time to bed the kids today again lucky guy take care guys